Okay, class, today we're in section 1.1, Evaluate Expressions. Section 1.1, Evaluate Expressions. Before, you use whole numbers, fractions, and decimals. Now, you will evaluate algebraic expressions and use exponents. Key vocabulary, variable, algebraic expression, power, base, and exponent. A variable is a letter used to represent one or more numbers. The numbers are the values of the variable. Expressions consist of numbers, variables, and operations. An algebraic expression or variable expression is an expression that includes at least one variable. Okay, take a look at the table below to become more familiar with algebraic expressions. Algebraic expression, five times n, can also be written as 5 times n, can also be written as 5 times n, meaning 5 times n. Operation, multiplication. 14 over y, which really means 14 divided by y, can also be rewritten as 14 divided by y, meaning 14 divided by y, operation division. 6 plus c, means 6 plus c. Operation addition. 8 minus x means 8 minus x. Operation subtraction. So once again, algebraic expression, the meaning, operation. To evaluate an algebraic expression, substitute a number for each variable. Perform the operation or operations and simplify the result if necessary. Example 1. Evaluate algebraic expressions. Evaluate the expression when n is equal to 3. A. 13 times n. That's our expression. n was equal to 3, so in place of n we put 3. So we show our work 13 times 3 is 39. B. N, 9 divided by n. 9 divided by n. Once again, our n is equal to 3, so n so 9 divided by 3 is 3. C, n minus 1. n minus 1. Here, n is also 3. So 3 minus 1 is 2. And last but not least, D, n plus 8. The value of n is 3. So in place of n, we put 3, and we get 3 plus 8 is 11. Example 2, evaluate an expression. Movies. The total cost of seeing a movie at a theater can be represented by the expression A plus R, where A is the cost in dollars of admission and R is the cost in dollars of refreshments. Suppose you pay $7.50 for admission and $7.25 for uh, refreshments. Find the total cost. Solution. Total cost is the expression A plus R. Substitute 750 for A and 725 for R. Then add. You should come out with $14.75. The total cost is $14.75. Expression using exponents. A power is an expression that represents repeated multiplication of the same factor. For example, 81 is a power of 3 because 81 equals 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. A power can be written in the form, a power can be written in a form using two numbers, a base and an exponent. The exponent represents the number of times the base is used as a factor. So 81 can be written as 3 to the fourth. The base is 3. The exponent is 4. 4 factors of 3. So 3 times 3, that's 9. 9 times 3, that's 27. 27 times 3 is 81. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Once again, the 3 is the base and the 4 is the exponent. Example 3. Read and write powers. Write the power in words and as a product, 
Write the power in words and as a product. Power, seven to the one. Words, seven to the first power. Product, seven. B, five squared, or five to the second power. That can be written, I mean, the words for that should be five to the second power or five squared. Product is five times five. C, one half to the third power. The words one half to the third power or one half cubed. The three means cubed. That also means in terms of the product, one half times one half times one half. Once again, one half times one half times one half. D, Z to the fifth power. Words, Z to the fifth power. Product, seven, excuse me, Z times Z times Z times Z times Z. All right, now remember this rule when you're writing exponents. For a number raised to the first power, you usually do not write the exponent, one. For instance, you write seven to the first power as simply seven. The one that is the first power that is implied. So in other words, seven to the first power and seven means the same thing. Example four, evaluate powers. Evaluate the expression x to the fourth when x is equal to two and also evaluate the expression n to the third or n cubed when n is equal to 1.5. Solution, x to the fourth when x is 2 means 2 to the fourth. That can be rewritten as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And that's going to give you 16. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. n to the third when n is equal to 1.5. n to the third, when you replace the n with 1.5, comes out to be 1.5 to the third. Now, what does that really mean? 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5. When you multiply all, all three of these out, you come out with 3.375. Area and volume. Exponents are used in the formulas for the area of a square and the volume of a cube. In fact, the words squared and cube come from the formula for the area of a square and the formula for the volume of a cube. So here we have our square, and we all know that in the square, all sides are equal. So therefore, if you call one side S, that means all the other sides are also called S. Area is length times width. So in this case, it's S times S. So S times S is equal to X squared. So the area is equal to S squared. Here we have the same thing for volume. Volume means of a cube, volume of a cube, cube means that all, all the sides are the same. So the length is S, so is the width, and so is the height. All that's S. Volume is equal to length times width times height. So you're really saying S times S times S, which means volume is equal to S cubed, or S to the third power. Example five, evaluate a power, storage cubes. Each edge of the medium-sized pop-up storage cube shown is 14 inches long. The storage cube is made so that it can be folded flat when not in use. Find the volume of the storage cube. Solution. Volume is equal to s to the third power. Write formula for the volume. Substitute 14 for S. So in place of S, we put 14 because it told us it was 14 inches long. Now we evaluate 14 to the third power. And that means 14 times 14 times 14. After multiplying, we will come out with 2,744. So the volume of the storage cube is 2,744 cubic inches.